Hello everyone, welcome back to Vicki's Country Home. Happy New Year! Today is January 1st, 2020. And I just wanted to kind of wrap up what happened, things that went on in 2019. And also maybe go over some of the things that I am planning for goals that I have for 2020. So, first of all, starting last year, it was a heck of a year for us. Brian got surplused in his job with a large company, and it, we were told it was because he worked remotely, and that meant working from home, and that if he wanted his job, he needed to move to one of seven cities in the nation, and we are not re relocating, this is our home. So he was surplused and that was kind of a shock, but we got through it and everything is okay. At the same time, we had snow and then we had heavy rains and it almost completely washed out our only way out, our creek crossing. It was, barely, barely passable for a month and a half. And when I say barely, it took off about 18 inches of dirt road and there was a narrow path that you could wind your way across the creek. And it was so narrow that Brian's dually tires stuck over the sides. But we got through that. And at that same time, our refrigerator went out for the first of three times, and that time it was out a month and a half. First to wait for parts, but then because the repair person couldn't get here because of the roads. They had to bring their van across and it wouldn't do it. It then proceeded to go out, that was in February, beginning of February. Then it went out in June, I believe, and then it went out I think it was August or September, at which time we said we're done. We had purchased it three and a half years before from Costco. They gave us full refunds, so we finally got a new refrigerator that hopefully we're not going to have those issues with. At the same time that those things happened, we also had a septic backup. And again, Nothing could be done because it was so wet, so muddy. Even getting to the septic was almost impossible. We limped through, we did our dishes in pails, we took it outside and tossed the water, you name it. We were so careful and that, that got us through, but it was a difficult time again. So, those things all happened within days of each other. But you know what? We got through with the Lord's help and I'm looking for much better this year. But some good things that happened while Brian lost his work, I received so much bookkeeping work, new clients, that I, I was almost overwhelmed. It was just God taking care of us. So his work went away, mine built up, which meant I had less time for YouTube videos. So it was kind of a trade-off. And I'm still working through that and probably gonna get more help to help me do it. My sister, who had lived in California sold her budget blinds franchise in Napa and they built a log home here in our valley about four miles away as the crow flies it's about a half hour drive to get to her house but I'm so thankful that she's here and I love her dearly so it's great and she's actually joined our bookkeeping company so that's a big help too and then Brian got rehired by the same company to do some of the same work he was doing, and he's going to be doing even more of the same work that he was doing. 
but as a contractor, no benefits, but he's working, so that's good. So just so many things happened. And I'm looking down at my notes because I have a whole list. The grasshoppers hit again. Now, last year, they didn't completely wipe me out. They, they took a lot of energy and time because I fought them. But I learned from the year before, so I did get a garden. It just wasn't great. But I got my goats. So I, my friend moved out of the valley, gave me her goats, a lot of the building materials that I needed to build a pen. And so my sister and I got out there and pounded t post into the rocks and clay and dug holes to put the corner post and you name it, we did it. So that was really fun and I love those girls. They're, they're just, they're fun. And one really huge thing is I gained over 10,000 subscribers in one year in 2019. So that's thanks to all of y'all. And I just, it, it just amazes me and humbles me. And thank you, that, that's just crazy. So that was my 2019 and there were other things, but those are kind of the, the big points. But now on to 2020, and what am I gonna do with this? And how am I going to go forward? Well, what, number one is we have to save money this year because we are off grid, as you know, and our battery banks are, they're not gone, but they are reduced capacity and we're running the generator more and more, so we know that that's coming and probably within the year we need to buy new batteries. You're talking a 3,200 square foot house running off of batteries, so it's quite the system. So that is a definite goal we have to achieve. We're going to have to build a special enclosure in the garage because of off-gassing, I think, and then we have to purchase the batteries and all the stuff that goes with that. So that is definitely on our list for 2020. I plan on continuing to grow my business and that is probably gonna include hiring some other bookkeepers because there's only so much you can do in a fixed amount of time. And my sister and I both would like to build it up. So that's, that's kind of a goal too. We'll be working on that. I'm hopefully, very, very, very hopefully, gonna see Mrs. Lori and Mr. Brown from Whippoorwill Holler because I miss those guys. I didn't get to see them this year. So hopefully it's gonna happen in 2020. more immediate is Brian and I are going to start on the keto diet. We both need to lose weight and I don't intend for it to be a long-term thing. Um, and we may go on and off of it for periods of time. I don't know yet and I'm still researching a lot of that. But that is definitely on our radar so if you have any really good suggestions or recipes, because y'all know I love food, let me know. And I love carbs, <laughs> so this is really gonna be a challenge. So if you have good recipes, if you have suggestions, warnings, whatever, let me know in the comments, because I'm definitely interested. I'd like to this year also build a small barn for my goats because right now I have two small, maybe four to five foot wooden sheds that are, you know, about yay high. And I do want to breed the goats this year. So I really need a better structure. So that's on my to-do list and I have to figure out how I'm gonna do it. If, what I want to do, and I will. 
And I possibly want to expand my garden because it really, we are so limited here. I mean, our climate is tough, but I need more garden. So that's, that's on my hope to do list, depending on the time mostly. So those are kind of my hopes for 2020, along with also trying to give you more quality videos. And, and if you have some suggestions or a wish list of things you would like to see, be sure and leave that in the comments too, because I will be reading them and I will be trying to plan out my year. And I'd love to give you what you wanna see. So please do that. I, it would be greatly appreciated. So I, again, I just have to say thank you to all of you. I really appreciate you. I love you. And your feedback is so important to me. It really keeps me going, first of all, because sometimes it can be really hard juggling life and business and family and cooking and church and you know, nonprofits, all the things that you get involved in, it takes time to make these videos, plan them, edit them, upload them, all those things. And your feedback definitely keeps me going, gives me incentive, keeps me motivated. So, I love hearing from you. So anyway, Happy New Year's. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday and I just pray that everyone has a happy, healthy, and prosperous New Year. God bless and we'll talk again soon.